I got got the Star Wars tie on, got the blazer. We are all sorts of ready to go to the Weird Cirque du Soleil show. Is the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Okay, so there's no filming during the show, so I can't show you guys any of that. But, um, yeah, so I'll go ahead and give you a review once I'm done. So, let you know how it is. Okay, I'm really glad I didn't try to snake footage of this one because that would have got me banned from YouTube. Zumanity is a very, very sexy show. The premise is simple. It's a lot of super acrobatic performances with super attractive people. If you imagine a regular Cirque du Soleil show, just add in some topless performers and more revealing clothing that make out with each other between backflips and trapeze dives. The whole show is loosely tied together with a story, I guess. The mistress of sensuality hostess, Edie, introduces you to each act. You Usually something about sex and love. Then you get the act. The action is broken up by Dick and Izzy, a pair of comedians playing an old, bickering married couple, before going back to the main circus. If you want to break it down like a traditional circus, the hostess is the ringmaster, the comedians are the clowns, and the acts are what would account for trapeze artists, fire eaters, magicians, and whatnot in a traditional circus. No animals to be seen, which is par for the course in circus shows, which is fine with me. I think Vegas has enough animal attractions, and we don't need to trot out any more show horses for a show at New York, New York. The best parts of the show hand down are the comedians Dick and Izzy, the self-proclaimed sex experts whose characters are married and completely unscrupulous. Kinda reminds me of an old 1960s Vegas lounge act with a lot more dirty jokes. There is another clown by the name of Casanova who gets a laugh or two, especially when he terrorizes the audience, but the best laughs definitely come from Dick and Izzy's banter. The show is pretty to look at, and the music is certainly well performed by the band and orchestra, and, well frankly, the ladies and gentlemen represented here are aesthetically very pleasing. Everyone's incredibly athletic, and they move like lightning. Every move is deliberate, decisive, and downright impressive to watch. Now for the bad news. It's a bit of a long show, a solid 90 minutes or so. I usually set aside an hour or so for a good Vegas show, longer for a proper concert, but this show just feels a little lengthy. That might be because it's a little abstract too which is normal for a French show, but it might be off-putting for some American audiences. Also, Edie, the mistress of sensuality, is played very well by Christopher Kenny, but I feel like the character doesn't add much to the show. She's funny in places and serves to narrate very well, but I still don't always get what's supposed to be going on, and her narration doesn't always help. And sometimes the acts are hard to follow. Sometimes they're really bombastic and over the top, and other times it's very slow and can get kind of boring sometimes. Some acts are really fun, and others just aren't, but that's the way it is. But that's just my personal opinion. And admittedly, watching Solo was a little bit weird, but it looks like a fun show for groups and couples, so there's that. Overall, I'd give Humanity a 3 out of 5. So until next show, Spinners and Sharks, strong hands, and happy spinning.